you know, I'm Rosemary, your teacher. Welcome to chapter 5. And today's topic in chapter 5 is effect of electric current on substances. Before we get to study, we need to state the objectives of what you are required to have known or attained by the end of this chapter. So by the end of this chapter, you should have been able to, one, define the terms conductor, non-conductor, electrolyte, non-electrolyte, current, and electrode. Another objective is that you should be able to differentiate between an electrode and a conductor. Then you should be able to explain the electrolysis process. Then you should be able to explain electrolysis of binary products and also state application of electrolysis. So we will start by saying that to determine if a solid can conduct electric current, it is usually connected to an electric current an electric circuit. This circuit also has a bulb connected to it and when the bulb lights, the, when the substance is connected, then we know that the substance can connect or can conduct electricity because the circuit is complete. When the bulb does not light, then the solid substance does not conduct electricity. Therefore, it has not completed the circuit. So as you can see, we have the circuit, you have uh, uh, the switch, we have the cells connected, then we have the wires, which is the circuit, and then we have the bulb, and you can see we need to connect the substance so as to confirm whether it can conduct electricity or it cannot. This is mainly for solid substances. So when the circuit is tested with several substances, we can be able to categorize substances as conductors and non-conductors. In front of us here, we have a simple circuit and it is made up of cells. We have the wires and we have the bulb. The bulb will always confirm to us that the circuit is complete. So what we are going to do is just to demonstrate uh, with this that we are going to have different items just to show if they can conduct electricity or not, whether they can conduct electric current or not. I will start by demonstrating that the circuit is complete and once complete, the bulb lights. So the circuit is complete and when it is complete, we are able to tell when the bulb lights. So once complete, the bulb lights. 